Hello lovely people, you've got Sammy here and today we are going to be completing the Flower Love Square as part of our 365 Granny Square a Day Crochet Along project. So just started out with a magic ring um, and a chain of one. If you don't want to do a magic ring, that's okay. Chain four, slip stitch into the first chain and use that as a magic ring. So I've done a chain of one. We're going to do 12 single crochet into our ring to start. So I'll let you guys do them. Slip stitching into the top of the beginning chain one. So this round we'll have 12 single crochet. I'll meet you back here in a moment. Okay, we're back. 12 single crochet into our ring. Now I'm gonna chain three. And then double crochet into the same stitch. Chain two. Skip the next stitch and then do two double crochet into the second stitch. One and two. I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So two double crochet. Two double crochet, chain of two, skip one stitch, two double crochet into the next. Finishing off with a slip stitch into the top loop of our chain of three that will serve as our first double crochet. You guys have totally got this. I am going to change colour after this round so that I have a nice white center and some pink petals on my flower. You can continue with the same color or change, entirely up to you. At the end of this round we'll have 12 double crochet. See you in okay, a we're back. I've joined on my new color, ready to start on round three. If I can just get my wool to cooperate. Get that out of there. Right. Joined on where we finished off. <clears throat> chain of three which will serve as our first double crochet double crochet into the next stitch and we're going to repeat this all the way around so we're going to chain one we're going to do a treble crochet into the midst stitch from round one but we're going to go behind the chain so we're going to go in behind through the front pull up a loop and do our treble crochet behind the chain from round two you can see you got a little bit of the pink sitting there and the chain in front chain one Skipping this chain space and popping a double crochet to the next two double crochet from round two. Chain one. And then we're going to go behind the chain space to pop a double crochet into the missed stitch from round one. Chain one, double crochet into the top of the two, double crochet from the previous round. Chain one and another treble. So we just continue that all the way around, finishing off with a slip stitch into the top of the chain three that was serving as our first double crochet. So at the end of this round we'll have 12 double crochet and six treble crochet. See you right. shortly. Round three completed. How cute is that little bit of color peeking through in the center of the square there? How annoying when you haven't tied your magic ring tight enough and it keeps opening up. Does kind of add to it. Okay round four. Chain one single crochet into the same stitch 
start our repeat. So we're going to re repeat this part four times. We're going to do four double crochet into the chain space. Slip stitch into the treble and four double crochet into the next chain space. Two. Four. We're back to the double crochets like where we started and pop a single crochet out of the way. This wool is slippery but it is so so soft. Ever just pick up a ball of wool and not even want to wait to hook it, just wrap it around yourself. This, this beautiful stuff is just like that. Okay, so single crochets into the next two. We're at a chain space. So we're starting the repeat again. Four double crochet. slip stitch into the top of our treble takes us to the next chain space four double crochet and then oops one two three back to our two double crochet single crochet into the top of it each so just continue repeating that pattern back to the beginning at the end we're going to do a slip stitch into the top of the chain one we did in the beginning um, and I'm going to still be using the same color to add our next row of petals so keep going if you want to follow along go back around three and a half minutes otherwise I'll see you okay, shortly back I changed my mind second row of petals gonna be in a darker pink I'm always telling everyone to mix it up and play with it bit of practice what you preach hey all right so I've just joined in where I finished off chain of one now the stitches in round five are worked behind the petals in the stitches of round three which are these ones so uh, round four made our petals now we're going to work into the sort of stems of them so chain one I'm going to front post double crochet together around the two double crochet of round three so you go down around both of them Pull a loop back through and complete my double crochet behind the petals. Just so you get a little bit of that darker pink or the same colour depending how you're rolling. Um, so that's underneath the joining stitch there. I'm going to chain two. Uh, front post double crochet around the treble. Of round three working behind the petals chain two front post double crochet around the two double crochet of round three complete that stitch chain two and front post double crochet around the treble from round three 
<clears throat> so we're going to continue that way until the end. We're going to slip stitch uh, at the end. We're going to slip stitch to the top of the beginning chain one, which is all the way back over here, um, and finish off. See you all shortly. Okay, back, ready for round six. You can change color here if you like. You said colors entirely up to you guys mix it up and have fun with it that's the whole idea you're still learning the same skills you're just getting your own individual look I really like those little darker pink bits anyway let's get crack a lack in chain three counts as our first double crochet I'm gonna double crochet into the same stitch Again, we're working behind the petals. So double crochet, chain one and two, two double crochet all into that chain one we started with. So this will be our first corner. Um, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> ah, corner made. Anyway, let's do the side. Going to do two double crochet into the next chain space. One. And two. Um, a double crochet into the next stitch was which was our front post double crochet two double crochet into the next chain space a double crochet into the next stitch which was a front post double crochet two into the chain space and we're at a corner so we're going to be working into the top of the front post double crochet um, with two double crochet a chain of one and two double crochet walk you through the next side and then I'll let you guys continue on your own uh, so we're at a chain space uh, right, one more double crochet in there it's two double crochet a chain of one and two double crochet now we're into the chain space again so two double crochet double crochet into the top of the stitch two double crochet into the chain space double crochet to the top of the stitch two into the chain space Okay, the next stitch will be our next corner. So we've got two double crochet, chain of one and two double crochet uh, into the one front post double crochet stitch. Um, if you want to follow along with the video, go back around four minutes. Otherwise, continue in the same pattern. I'll meet you back here soon. Okay, we are back. And I have to confess that um, I'm dirty room scoundrel and lied to you all. I thought, I don't know why I thought that round was more petals but it isn't it's actually the square hence the corners mm, get it together Sammy jeez anywho I'm rolling with this 
I've just changed colors again. If you're not changing colors, slip stitch into a corner chain space. I've just joined into the corner chain space with a slip stitch. I'm going to start by working a corner. Chain three. And then <clears throat> double crochet into the same chain space. Chain one, two, double crochet into the same corner chain space to finish off our first corner. We're just squaring up at the moment, <clears throat> finishing off our square. So double crochet into the next 12 stitches, which gets us back to a corner chain space, which is what we just did. Two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Down the sides, just a double crochet into each stitch. And we've got that gorgeous little flower sitting up the front. with just a single row of petals. Oopsie. I'm sure plenty of you all were smarter than me and knew when we were making corners that we weren't making petals, we were making the square. So 12 double crochet down the side. Back to a corner chain space, two double crochet, chain of one, and two double crochet. We're back to a side. So double crochet all the way down to the corner. That gorgeous flower sitting up the front there. I'm sure you guys are more than capable of uh, finishing off this round. Finishing with a slip stitch into the chain three that served as our first double crochet in the first corner. I'll meet you back here to do round eight, which will be our final round. Okay, Season. we're back and ready for our final round. Looking pretty cute, I think. Um, now, final round, time to measure your square. If it's way undersized because you're a super tight hooker like me, you can always do an extra row. If <coughs> you have a more reasonable tension, you may only want to do half double crochets or a single crochet instead of the double crochet that I'm about to complete. <coughs> So, uh, I've changed colours again. If you are not changing colours, then you'll just slip stitch over to a corner chain space and do a chain of three if you're doing double, two for half double, one for single. We're going to be doing double, so I've done three. I'm going to do another double crochet into the chain space. Chain of one. And two double crochets all into that corner chain space. So pretty much an exact repeat of round seven. Of course, if this round still isn't going to give you extra size, you can add another round after. As with any granny, fairly easy to add or shorten around whatever your sizing requirement may be. I'm sure you guys are more than capable to finish off this square with a round of double crochet. I hope that you have found this tutorial helpful. It'd be great if you can give us a like on YouTube um, because it does help us reach more crochet enthusiasts. I want everyone to be a happy hooker. Enjoy finishing off the square. I can't wait to see what you all come up with. Have a 
fabulous day. Thanks again.